So what we had here was a DR field and brush mower that the blades wouldn't activate. Um, DR told the customer that it was most likely the switch here. Uh, the customer replaced the switch, but still uh, the blades would not activate. Um, I determined that all the wiring was in place. Uh, everything looked good there. Um, when I pulled the plate that held, holds the gas tank off, um, I noticed that the main pulley here, or the idler pulley, I believe they call it. So this pulley came off of there. Uh, looks like the belt ate right through it. Um, so I'm going to have to replace the belt as well as this pulley. Um, everything's pretty easy to get to once you take off the fuel tank plate here. It's four um, bolts, half inch. Uh, you also have to remove the fuel line and the throttle cable which is mounted right there uh, and you do want to be careful of the wiring when you pull that tank off you can't pull it off too far you're going to yank out some wires but you can pull it out far enough to where you can get uh, to that pulley there to replace it so the spring was in place and went from uh, that bolt to this bolt basically you just remove the nuts on top and the spring comes right out so the lever the bracket actually has quite a bit of up and down place so I think the bushing is probably out on the shaft as well so I'm going to look into replacing that lever uh, this back plate here is two three-eighths bolts um, and you can get to the What's underneath there, I think I can probably do this whole job without having to remove any more components. I'll show you what I'm talking about here um, with this bracket. So you can see uh, this bracket where the pulley went, how floppy it is here. Uh, that's why I think it needs to be replaced. The bushing is probably out. It looks like a 9 16 and you get to one of the the head, the bolt down underneath here, and you can get to the top of it right there. So let's go ahead and try to remove that here. Kind of awkward. Might be a two-person job. Unfortunately, there's only one person here today, so let's see what we can do. I'm curious to see what this setup looks like see if I'm right about the bushing, but I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to be floppy. All right, what do we have here? So that looks like the whole setup. Yeah, that bushing in there, it maybe a bearing that definitely worn out so uh, get a new one of these as well I've been trying to determine which piece is worn here but you know um, I think both of them are because if I look at that hole there uh, it definitely looks like it's kind of bowed out there yeah it definitely looks thinner on that side if you look so I'm going to replace this lever and get a new one of these as well. I finally got in the new parts for this DR field and brush mower. So let's go ahead and see if we can remember how to do this. Okay, so I have this piece together. So you do want to fully assemble the pulley onto the lever before you try to install it. Uh, you can see the spacer on the pulley goes down to the lever and this is the way it mounts in there like this make sure we have the spacer Let's see right there hopefully you can see that for the belt you do have to order all the parts from DR um, 
real easy to order website. I'm going to put the belt on the engine pulley first. You do have to kind of squeeze it uh, underneath the pulley there in the mower deck. So I realized that I took one of the engine uh, mounting bolts out so I can actually tilt this whole engine up and squeeze the belt under so let me do that. Uh, I gotta put my camera down to do this folks. So I just lifted up the whole engine plate to get the belt under there. Yeah, that was definitely way, the way to go, putting uh, the belt on the engine pulley first. Looks like the belt goes on this side of that spring mount. Looks like I'm going to have to lift that engine plate up again to get that. So I'm going to try wrapping it around this side first and see if I can work it onto the, the pulley. I'm gonna have to set down my camera though. I almost got it. There we go. Now it's time for the spring. We basically need to go from there, from there to there. Uh, I don't have a spring puller, so I'm just going to reef on it and hopefully I can pull it over far enough, but I got to put the camera down to do that. Right, let's see how strong I am today. Uh, you know, I think I'm going to put the nut on here to help keep that spring on. Oh boy, that is going to be tough. I got an idea. Wire. I'll wrap it around the spring. And yeah, now it's pretty easy to pull. I just need to make sure I can get that wire out of the way. There. Let's go ahead and put cap back on. Nut back on. Well, that's one way to get that wire out of there. At least the spring's on. Just need to tighten it down. I just want to make sure all the wires are still connected. Make sure I didn't pull anything out. Check. Oh. Okay. Hopefully, all those wires are still connected. 